Welcome back to New Gameplay Today. I'm Leo Vader, joined today by Darth Reiner. That's right. Thank you. I mean, you have Vader, so I need some kind of title. But Darth Vader is taken, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. All right. We're looking at Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. New yes. Gameplay released today. Yeah, this is the uh, playthrough, full playthrough they had behind closed doors at E3. This is also what we saw for our full cover story trip. Yes. Uh, and this is why I'm so damn excited about this game. It is the full Star Wars picture, the cinematic elements, storytelling, music. You can kind of hear how they're starting to bring out a little bit of John Williams' uh, episode one uh, soundtrack, the, the when they're swimming down to Oda Gunga. Mm -hmm. uh, sure. Right here. Okay. A little bit of those elements, right? Like, it, it's it just wowed me on uh, not just the gameplay level, but just the Star Wars level, too. Like, this is what I've always wanted to see from a Star Wars game is you have the vehicles, you have all the big stuff going on, and, you know, the star of it is going to be the lightsaber combat, hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. Me and Kyle were talking when they showed the footage. We saw little snippets of this scene in a sizzle trailer that was at Microsoft's conference. We were wondering why they didn't show more of this sequence because actually taking the time to show the full climbing sequence and like the scale of them in the water, yeah. it's a really impressive sequence and we think it's really worth showing off. Uh, right here, you can go around back. Uh, let's see, and in our, yeah, they're going around the front because it's cool to go under the cockpit here. Right. But you do have choice there. It's not the best in terms of player choice, but there are multiple paths around this ad app. Mm -hmm. And this I assume is linear. This won't always be here to explore Metroid style. No, yes. This is what they call the big Star Wars moments. Right. Uh, the game does open up, like Leo's uh, talking about, where it is more like Metroid, where you're coming back to certain areas, finding secret areas, using special powers you gain in a different planet to revisit old ones and access new areas. But the, these big Star Wars moments are meant to just be big set pieces, basically. Mm -hmm. And if you want to hear this gameplay without our commentary, that is available on EA Star Wars, that YouTube channel. So that's out there for you. Uh, uh, did they say how far into the game this was? A few hours. Okay. And this is the first time they've shown off a fully modeled interior of an ad at. This ad at model happens to be the one from Star Wars Rebels, so it's a little bit larger than what you saw in Empire Strikes Back and Rogue One. Also has more of a Ralph McQuarrie design to uh, the head on it. Sure. And the gunner seat on the back. And here we go. First taste of the lightsaber combat. Yes. How do you feel the reception has been to this? Everybody says it sequence. looks too easy. Right. Uh, you and I have both played it. That is not the case, especially <laughs> when you take on purge troopers. Uh-huh. They seem to like to block everything. But the focus that Respawn went for is the lightsaber is deadly. Like, whenever it makes contact, it should deal a significant blow to an enemy. So how do you make combat around that? and have that still be fun. Right here, you're seeing grunts, these speeder right troopers or stormtroopers mm -hmm. uh, that go down quickly. Most enemies will have weapons like the electro blade that can block the lightsaber. So it's gonna be more of a duel where you're exchanging blows until you either uh, sidestep them and get a clean blow or deplete their defense meter. Right. It's a matter of how do we make it still challenging when the lightsaber has to kill people in one or two hits. Exactly. And what you heard right there, we were just talking over it, uh, was again a musical cue just kind of switching like the movies do for specific little moments. Mm -hmm. Like almost like it's like the whole game was made and then they went in and did the soundtrack ad after kind of like John Williams in the uh, recording studio. Yeah, it's very cinematic style for sure. This is playable. Yes. He's playing this. So, like I just mentioned, big vehicles. Uh, Stig Osmussen, the game director, wouldn't say if there's space battles yet, but I'm going to assume that we'll be a part of it in some capacity. It may come up. But did say that pretty much all the wings are not in the game, right? X-Wings. Right. Oh. Hey, who are you? Someone who just brought an ad to the table. Well, I'm going to clean your window. <laughs> Any bit helps. They said when we were there that that originally wasn't something you played during. That yeah. was just a, like, took you away for cinematic for a second, but I appreciate that that's part of the gameplay now. And this sequence was a lot longer. They've cut it down. Oh, sure. Uh, and that's what happens a lot during game development. Things get cut or extended. 
uh, as they're trying to figure out the perfect flow through a level. Mm -hmm. And uh, just look at this carnage here. You gotta love it. I love BD looking on in horror. What you've done. Yeah, one thing they uh, settled on, BD's lights on the back of the head there. Uh-huh. Um, they didn't know if that was just going to be all one color when we were in the studio, or if when he's on your back, if it'll be green when you're healthy or red when you're in danger. Yeah. They ended up going with the multicolor spectrum. So when BD's separate, it goes blue. Believe it or not, that's something you have to clear with Lucasfilm. You can't just make that decision when working with Star Wars. As far as, like, actual droid functionality. You know? I mean, they everything to down to the name of the skill points. They told us something, they're like, well, you can't print that yet because Lucasfilm hasn't approved it yet. Hmm. You like a gameplay system too. They want to be involved in all that. Right. If they want it to be fully authentic, fully canon, they've got to clear every little bit of that. Which I'm sure is a serious process. Would you call this a mini boss battle? Sure. Right. Yeah, you know, Monster Hunter doesn't have health bars. How does this guy? So what do you think of Cal so far? I like him. I like his hair color. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's bold, you know? Yeah, that's something Stig told us. He's like, I'd, never in my wildest dreams would I have thought that our Jedi would end up being a redhead right. at the end of the day. But he ended up being, uh, Cameron Monaghan ended up being the perfect fit for what they were looking for. Yeah, I'm okay. Right. You and it looks so much like him that he... No, we are not doing that again. He could appear in other Star Wars things. You just wrecked a perfectly good walker. So most storytelling is done through um, while you're playing the game. Mm -hmm. But here's a moment where they're actually slowing down and doing a more cinematic um, cutscene. and I came to Kashyyyk to disrupt Imperial supply lines. Hey! I appreciate seeing this at 60 frames a second. It definitely was not streaming at that for the reveal. No, and some of the characters in our demo, they, they were still building it, didn't have heads. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> so in the background there, there'd be people without heads. <laughs> Toffel is impossible to find. There's a reason he's evaded the Empire for this long. He's a freedom fighter? And that's uh, Forrest Whitaker. Freedom fighter. Mm -hmm. A symbol of the Wookiee resistance. Reprising his role from uh, Rogue One, also Seer? Star Wars Grace. Rebels. And uh, How you doing? his character you was in Clone Wars, but he didn't voice him back then. Jedi business. Oh. Jedi are dead. Not all of them. <clears throat> I saw a cosplayer dressed as Sakura the other day. There was a big lightsaber duel at this, this state park I was at. It was bizarre, but one of them was dressed as Sakura. We were just like, wow, small world. Yeah. That's Grease, uh, your pilot there. It's a new alien species they created for this game. Inspired a little bit by Mr. Furley from Three's Company. Of course. And that who I saw I was talking to was Seer. She is a Jedi Knight who um, has taken you, Cal, under her wing to complete your your Jedi training. So you're just a Padawan. And she wants to revive the Jedi Order. She seems to have a lead um, that's leading to that. And... Um, you don't really believe it at first. You don't know if it's possible, but you do believe in survival and becoming a better Jedi will help you do that. So it's both kind of a win-win situation for both of them. Right. So here we are on the ship, the Stinger Mantis. That's Grease's ship. You saw you earned a skill point. Uh, you can do that stuff here uh, on your ship. So there's living quarters in the back. There will also be a meditation zone in the back, mm -hmm. which is a save point. And the ship is explorable. Glad you're all right. There will be other activities yeah, on it too. To right. Too. This place is a dump. Your plan worked. And now you want to follow Saul. So these are optional like conversations. I'm concerned you're jumping from one risk to the next. Wait, what? I fly my ship in the middle of a battlefield and now we're talking about risks? Why didn't you stop me? My job is to guide you on your path, not choose it for you. So here's my advice. The Empire's overtaken hundreds of worlds. There's a reason Saw chose Kashyyyk. Saw's goals may not be the same as ours. We should be careful. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> so that's new content for us. Leo and I were engaged in yeah. that. We did not see this optional conversation in our, cu our cutscene, our right. cover story uh, trip. Over here. 
Uh, this you looks can see so much more polished. Yeah, you can see BD's uh, light is green now. So he's kind of an active hit point meter for you a little bit. Right. I really love the animations I'm seeing so far and these particle effects. Yeah. Respawn makes some pretty stuff. Yeah. I think it's an underrated aspect of their work. Yeah, I can't wait to see how deep they go with the, kind of the Metroid element. Combat. Oh, here's BD scanning. Mm -hmm. um, so he jumped off on his own. Or did he, did he call him out there? Uh, he ran out on his own, but then you press the button to make him actually right. scan. He was just checking it out of his own volition. Let's see. Let's keep our eye on the environment for things that might be able to uh, be Metroid S that we could point out. Sure. Oh, that wall run, you can attack out of that, we learned. Both lightsaber and force, I believe. Right. Deflecting. Um, there's no waypoint you'll see on the screen at any point, so it's very clean HUD. Um, so you won't see a little box that's ticking down the number of meters till you get to it or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, they want you to find your own way, but one way to do that is using a map. And BD1 is your map. The game does not pause when you bring that up. Yeah, so I you like got to be careful where you use it. I feel like I would even disable that health bar when I'm playing, just because it's such a minimal HUD. And Kashyyyk is not just full of Wookiees, but um, which is the Wookiee homeworld, by the way. But there's other dangerous wildlife here, like these spider things or ticks. Yeah, they have a ton of the original creatures. Yeah, that are got, all specific to each planet. We got to see in a dev box, like dev environment. Yeah. They just kept spawning different creatures for us. Some we can't talk about. Yeah, they were just like, give them three blanks and a blank. And then they would just press a few buttons yeah. on the keyboard and they would just drop in. It was really fun. And the wildlife will fight against the Empire and different wildlife will attack other wildlife. So there is an element where you can come into a, a combat situation where stormtroopers are battling a spider like this. I think we'll even see it in this demo. Um, right. But I'll you don't that. have to engage. You could just sit back and wait and see what happens. Yeah, then, there is like faction AI like that. And then pick off who's left. Yeah. But you won't get the experience. It's like a spider had a stormtrooper for lunch. Which current can you conduct? Mm -hmm. Spider loved working on his hog in here. You can short circuit Imperial tech. Yeah, why is this in here? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh... So BD just got an upgrade overcharge, and it shows cosmetically. He looks a little different on his his head there. And Cal is a bit of a tinkerer. We found out. Mm -hmm. uh, Saw did not, or uh, uh, Stig did not like like us hearing about that. <laughs> Wanted to right. cut that off, but apparently there's something there in his backstory where um, he's a bit kind of like Anakin in that capacity. Mm -hmm. I love BD. We've got a feature about him on our site. I like that he's uh, built to provide companionship to people who are exploring alone. Yeah. Which is just like a very good, smart story reason for him to be so cute, you know? Yeah, boy and his dog kind of scenario that they came up with here. Um, right. But I always like, just in Star Wars lore, how um, the droids are just kind of treated as, you know, like family members. Like, right. they're beloved. It's, it's a cool thing. We got to start treating our iPhones that way, I think. Yeah, really. I feel like if my phone climbed around and topped on my shoulder and stuff, I would <laughs> love it more, for sure. <laughs> okay, they cut something in half. Yeah, so, oh yeah, uh, dismemberment and limbs and stuff like that. You won't be able to take heads or arms or legs off of stormtroopers or anything humanoid. But, again, this is something they were trying to figure out while we were in the studio, is mm -hmm. if dismemberment would happen on alien creatures. Um, so the spider legs can come off, you can chop those fireflies in half. We saw a big frog creature, you could chop the tongue off of that. Right. Nothing good. They refined the sap into a powerful compound, and they're rushing to expand production. I wonder if uh, modders could get dismemberment in there on PC. I'd oh, be curious yeah. to see that. Lunch. These refineries double as brutal prison camps. We use those cutters to create a distraction while you take your lightsaber and free the Wookiees inside. We need their help to stop the Empire. Understood. Watch yourself in there. 
<laughs> See ya. You hear that? You said he needs my help. I wonder if that's one of the upgrades you get. Grappling hook. Grappling hook? Oh, that'd be cool. That'd be fun. Never turn down a grappling hook in a game. So we're going to a refinery here to... So again, you can see that there... A lot of the map will be Fog of War until you get to it. Mm -hmm. Points of interest show up in colors. But now it's just figuring out our own way. And since you're a Padawan, you have force abilities. You could use the lightsaber as a torch. You can unsheathe it or, you know, just... Uh, pull it out whenever you want to. Yes. They said they wanted that feel of you being a gunslinger. Whipping it out as you walk into a arena. Yes. Like I said, this is what we saw at E3, but it's a new playthrough of it, so they do things a little bit differently. Yeah, I would say this is probably another three weeks worth of dev time on it. I wish we could show the difference between what we saw and, and what's here. Yeah. Um, oh, let's see if they show this here. This was still very much a work in progress, too. This is the save point. Yes. Okay. Cool. So I'm this is kind of this. his mind space. Oh, they're not going to show the skills, <laughs> though. Right. Um, but kind of like I brought up when Ezra does something in Star Wars Rebels, for the sake of spoilers, I won't go into it, but there was a black and white environment that he went to, and they're like, yes, it's very much inspired by that kind of thing. Mm hmm All sorts of environment interactions, including the pitfall vine. Did you force pull to you like that? No stealth in the game, but you can get one hit kind of stealth kills without the enemy knowing just by dropping in on them. Mm -hmm. oh, Great. That, I'm just going to throw everybody off the side. I know. All four of these people are going off the side when I'm uh, playing. Force slow is a power that's unique to Cal. That is not what Darth... Uh, sorry, Kylo Ren uses in uh, Force Awakens. Mm -hmm. It's a slight variation of it. Um, but it still looks like it's freezing bolts, but they're still moving a little bit. Force push. He also had force pull, which you saw on the vine. Again, these are just kind of what they call grunt enemies. Like your base enemies here. Even though they have electro blades. You pretty much just mowing down. Right. And same as the E3 demo, that force bar is recharging here, but that's just part of the demo. That is not going to be in the game. You have to earn it back by hitting people. Correct. So if you use a lot of force powers in a battle and don't do any damage, you're not going to have force until you actually go and use your lightsaber, hit them, regain your force powers. Because mm -hmm. when you're using them more rarely, they feel more important and like a bit more decisive in the fight. So this is a pretty good uh, indication of what um, a more difficult battle would be. This is just one purge trooper on his own. When we would battle them, there would be a purge trooper, a couple of flamethrower troopers, uh, maybe a uh, probe droid, right? A couple stormtroopers as snipers up in the towers. Uh, the conflicts become pretty hairy. I'd say, at any given time, five or six enemies uh, as a max is what we saw in, in combat situations, right? A lot of crowd control, crowd management. A very Dead Space-like in how it tells the story. That is Dead Space, Dylan. Think you can help me, BD? Uh, health canisters are ba basically uh, Estus flasks from uh, Dark Souls. They're finite until you get to a save point, then they replenish. Whenever you activate a save point, all enemies also come back. So again, very Dark Souls-esque, even the combat. Um, right. The combat dance, the dive rolls, the lock-on. Sidestep. Um, yep, the stamina, all that stuff. Here's a situation we were talking about with the Empire battling enemies. Yeah. You could, like, force push those bugs into them and they would explode on them. Right. I feel like I would want to rush in as soon as possible just for, for XP purposes. That's right, yeah. If you do interrupt it, there will be more XP that you can get. Mm -hmm. Here's for slow, slow motion uh, fire. So he pushed him against the wall. That um, made his backpack, the fuel in his backpack, go up and in flames. And anyone around that could get hit. Even the body flying at an enemy could hit him. Mm -hmm. 
Which I like that. These fewer, like, better realized tools that all interact with each other in ways that make sense. That's the kind of combat I'm interested in. So here's some kind of weird device. Looks like an at at head. I'm not quite sure what we're looking at here. Okay. So BB goes saw. up there. That's the saw that Saw Guerrero is named after. <laughs> Yeah, what a weird coincidence to have him in this level. Yeah, foreshadowing. Very smart. So if there's a jar in a level, you know who's coming. That's right. Or a you had no idea that was hut. There, you? Yeah, you know who's coming. Mm -hmm. Huh, I wonder how you get past this as a pattern. Oh, yeah. Good puzzle solving. <laughs> smart. <laughs> Force slow is the first power you get in the game, they told us. That's a little tidbit that's technically new information maybe uh and that battle wasn't working for us in our demo so <laughs> right we just had a bunch of stormtroopers to take on of course why didn't he do that at e3 you know yeah it's clearly the way to deal with that And the one-hit kills, they call them sync kills, uh, at least at respawn. I don't know what they're officially going to be called sure. once Lucasfilm approves it. <laughs> but we might see one here on a spider. We'll see if he can do it. And single-player only, no microtransactions whatsoever. No multiplayer modes. Uh, I don't think there's new gameplay plus, but there will be, if you think this looks too easy, multiple difficulties. Yes, yeah, that's confirmed. Not confirmed whether there'll be funny Star Wars references or not. I mean, you could do Padawan. Yep. What would it be? Knight, then Master? Yep. That's probably a safe bet. And he didn't get a sync kill. Loser. Uh, the Singer Mantis, Cal, and... Oh, BD-1 and Cal's lightsaber are all customizable. You will find things throughout the environments. Um, that will allow you to um, tweak, uh, wear a poncho or not. Who knows? Maybe BD One's colors. Yeah. Um, the lightsaber colors, the the design of the hilt, all that stuff. That'll be part of the reward for exploring, fully getting every secret in an area. You'll find a bunch of those those chests or whatever they'll be called. The final oh. thing. Classic. There's a Star Wars show. I remember that. Um, no microtransactions, but pre-order bonuses. Sure, yeah. You can get an orange lightsaber as a pre-order bonus. <laughs> Guys. Got his headphones in. You know? God, I love that. That's a button press, by the way, the deflect. It's uh, L1, I believe. Yeah, yeah, you can hold it to block, but if you tap it at the right time, it deflects it back at who shot it. Which is useful because we had a few enemies who were too high up to even reach. So you'd either have to throw your lightsaber at them or pull them off the ledge. But deflecting the bullet is the only way that doesn't cost force power. I'm excited to explore these worlds. The traversal yeah, looks really fun. Like There's right lots now, of different moves. They're just going on a linear path. Mm -hmm. But they could be going off different, different ways. There was that one area where you went in the cave that seemed optional. Uh, and then came back to the same spot he was before. Right. All right, let's see how this goes. Well, oh, okay. That's a sink kill. Yeah, they, they said that was their way of rewarding you for doing what they asked of you, is those animations of kills, which I thought was a good way of putting it. That's excellent. So you got to be careful the force power is used on the purge troopers. They're anticipating a lot of it. Yeah, sometimes like if you if pull you, that guy, it doesn't work. He's sometimes, yeah, he'll dig in. Or if you fall, like if you try to force pull him, he might use the momentum gained as he's flying forward. Let's see if this. There you go. And he attacks you. So learnable enemies like that. Yeah. Interesting. When they turn red, that's unblockable attack. Just gotta dodge. And they don't want you doing, like, 10-hit combos on enemies. Uh, but he, as you can see, it, it's not 100% true to Star Wars. Like, uh, he hit him with his lightsaber, and 
it just, you know, made uh, Scorch March on his, his armor. Yeah, he looks fine. For a brief second. Right. I'm curious to see if they'll change that before launch. Like, it'd be interesting if the scoring just stayed Stays, for the whole yeah, fight. That'd yeah, that'd be cool. And if the leg actually doesn't go through the clothing there. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so BD, whenever there's interactive stuff, will just kind of take off on his own. And Cards. you actually hit the buttons. Here's the Wookiees. Poor they guys. better hide the Christmas special Wookiees down there. Yeah. One of the many secrets, I'm sure. And, uh... Hey, we're here to free you. Nope, they still haven't changed his look yet. Not yet. <laughs> They've got, what, five months? <laughs> Yeah, they said uh, these Wookiees are early, and it's like, well, <laughs> he still looks a little early. <laughs> so, K2S, oh, I can't remember the security droid name, but the K-Unit uh, security droids mm -hmm. are in this, and they're very difficult to take down. Yes, but that's all the gameplay we've got. Thank you very much for watching. Yeah, and Thanks for joining me, Reiner. November 15th, PS4, right. Xbox One, PC. And GameInformer.com slash Star Wars Jedi. I've got a ton of exclusive video and written features right there. Thanks, everybody. Gaming can be hard. Watching people play games shouldn't be. New Gameplay Today is your path to getting fun, informational previews of upcoming games and the releases of the day. It's New Gameplay Today, a marginally new way to spend your time.